I changed the batteries in this one earlier and it still doesn't seem to work. I would expect the LEDs that are in there and beside the wheels to flash as soon as the power goes on and they're not. So we'll take it apart see what we can see. That looks like I need a long... Yeah, I need a longer screwdriver. About this one. That's one of them. Another one. Something's coming apart. Yep. Ooh, is it all going to slide out in one go? Just move the chair around a bit. Put the battery box, receiver. Well, that's convenient. If I take that top back off for the battery. Be able to hold it down there. That should make contact so I can measure the voltage. Just looking here, let's zoom in a bit. Motor plus minus, backwards, forwards. L for left, I would have said. No R for right. Hmm. Interesting. Right, can we see what's written on there? RX2. So that should just be the standard chip. Or at least the one that most of my toys seem to have in them. Right, got my meter. I've put a rubber band around the battery box. That seems to be holding it together. But we're not getting very much in the way of voltage out of there. So I think the problem might just be as simple as those um, contacts on the battery box are corroded where the batteries had gone. It's just the battery box or the contacts in the battery box. Right, don't bother looking at that at the moment because it's not connected to anything. All right, so we didn't need to take it apart. It was the battery box again. So what we need to do is try and clean that up a bit where those corroded batteries were. Well, that was easy. 
but while we're at it, we might as well finish looking in here. What can we look at? Can we get one of these sides apart? Yeah, we should be able to get one side apart. If we're careful. Is that going to slide off there? Yeah, I'll see if we can take one side apart. I lifted that spring off that shaft there. There's the other one. So that's released this side of the car. We should now be able to undo these and have a look inside. motor. How difficult will it be to look inside? Well, it doesn't look like it will be difficult, but I might just put this back together again to hold it in place. So we can see the motor anyway. Let's put this back on. That's in there. Wires are in the right place. Right, so that's this side back in place. Looks like the wheels unscrew, which is handy. LEDs and then four screws holding this side of the gearbox together. Right, can we see what happens? Motor spins in the middle there. That turns that gear, then that turns that gear, and that one. Oh, it's handy to keep that off because then we can see the other reduction bit. So, small gear to big gear relatively small gear to big gear and on the back of there relatively small gear to big gear so reduction all the way to give us plenty of power
Right, now can we get that back together? Oh, and then there's the LEDs. that bit of wire goes. It looks like it might get tangled in the gears. wires out that went in there to keep them tight out of the way. Right, now try and put the rest of it back together. A little bit of hot glue there. Right, that went in there. for it, which is the easiest way to do it, because that needs to go right over there. There we are, so that's back in. We need to try and clean out this battery container. It's only where those little crystals of whatever it is that grows when the batteries go wrong. lights so should be fixed tuck the receiver back in place screw it all back down and we should be good to go that goes in there that's interesting to see that's just a loose fit in there nothing holding it in
Try and check we don't catch any wires where we shouldn't. I think this is the second car I've taken apart recently where all that was wrong with it was the batteries or the battery box. Hmm. Okay, what have I done wrong there? Looks like I didn't clean it well enough. Yeah, I'll do a bit more cleaning. I cleaned those battery terminals a little bit more and put a bit of grease on them to keep them clean. So now... Quite sure which way is front and which way is back. I don't suppose it makes much difference with this controller. But it works. I've no idea what the benefit is of those wheels spreading apart. But it works, so job done.